Hey guys, I hope everyone out there is safe and doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am reviewing this Mexican style cream called Crema. I'm not even going to try to butcher that, y'all. I'm, I'm really not. Okay. So I got it at Walmart. I don't know if they sell it anywhere else. Um, it's usually in its own little section by in dairy by the cream cheese slash cheese area. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, there's the ingredients. Pasteurized milk, salt, xanthan gum, guar gum, lotus bean gum, cheese cultures, enzymes. Okay, I don't know why that won't focus. Okay, anyway, natural grade A pasteurized milk. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. They got me by the tacos, you guys. I, I don't know anything about this brand. Um, I don't know anything about their other products. Uh, never tried them. I just got lured in by the tacos. It's like that. It's made with part skim real milk. I wish it was whole milk, you guys. I kind of didn't read that part. I should have. But it was cheap. Surprisingly, it was two something. I'll put the price in the description box below. But I want to show you guys the consistency of this. Because I've already played with this and tasted it and everything like that. Okay? This is the consistency of it. Almost the same consistency as whipped cream. It's it's light. It's It's not heavy like sour cream. Okay? So, let's talk about taste and smell. Now, in terms of smell and taste, everybody's different, so don't come for me, okay? Um, when I smell this, it smells like Greek yogurt to me. Plain Greek yogurt, okay? When I taste it, It tastes like light cream cheese. I don't like anything light. You know how they put on the product L-I-G... I don't know how they spell it. L-I-T-E-L-I-G-H-T. I don't know, y'all. I don't pay attention to that uh, kind of product. But if you don't like light dairy products... I don't recommend getting this. However, um, you can make this your own. If you buy it and you end up not liking it, this is what you can do. You can go on YouTube and find some recipes. I'm going to play with it because I, I don't like it by itself. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's meant to be eaten by itself, but they're putting it on a taco. You can add some garlic onion powder to this or fresh garlic uh, to this. You can add some herbs, some spices, make your own little sauce and whatnot. Because I, I can't eat this by itself. It, it tastes like light milk or light cream cheese or light. I just don't like light. I don't like it by itself. So I'm sure with a little bit of spices and fresh garlic uh, and herbs, it's going to be bomb. I'll update you guys in the comments below. Um, here's another tip for you guys. Don't throw this container away. It's very well made. Okay, it's not cheap, thin plastic. Rip off the label, wash this, and look at this. Okay, this is huge right here. It's not just like a little hole. You can make your own sauce. You can save this container and use it for something else. Like whatever sauce or whatever that you make and you have a squeeze bottle don't throw these out okay i'll see you guys in the next one give me some ideas i don't know nothing about this um tell me what i can do to make it taste better i don't know um or how you put it on your food i'll see you guys in the next one